it occurs to me, looking at our party menu, that potentially there's still one more character we can get. I don't know why that just occurred to me, but it did. It's time to tackle the Tower of Ain't Sudlo. A mysterious tower made only for Zale and Valir. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Sea of Stars right here on Missile Dine Online. What's up? That's me. That's my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on yet another episode. We are doing work, baby. Let me tell you, the last episode, we got the ability to breathe underwater and now and got some prophecy stuff from like this this old fish mermaid dude. And now we're going to Ansudlo, which I'm sure will be fine. It'll be fine. We get to, we get to look at, well, I mean, come on! This game all the time is just constantly one-upping itself is what it feels like. Ooh. Looks like we can use something there. We obviously don't have it right now, but that'll create something. Ah, huh. ancient. Feels ancient, right? The whole... Oh, what are you? Are you an enemy? I can't use the grapplu in here. That's definitely got to be something. Picked up a... Probably a key item. The sapphire key. Likely power some underwater device. Hmm. I wonder what. Put that here. Oh, yes. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah, this game's dope. I actually don't think those are enemies. Like, I think we could probably just, like... I kind of want to get hit by them just to see if they're enemy. Are they enemy? Oh, they are enemies! Okay. Huh. Shark Sinnel. Okay. We also got a ton of really cool items in the previous episode. Uh, we got some upgrades for us. We're now using the Coral Staff, the Coral daggers the coral sword uh and some armor we also got a new relic from turning in our uh, rainbow conches so let's go ahead and uh hit him with an extra large spirit bomb that actually does not do much damage now does it oh that is cool they turn into like a axe and should be able to finish this off only just barely, though. 1,100 experience now. And we get some nice fillets from those shark sinnels. I love... I love... I did not anticipate an underwater area. But I guess that's the cool thing about Sea of Stars, is you just never know what you're gonna get, do you? We're not even in the tower yet. This is just the row. Oh, there we go. But those enemies look scary. We did use our keys, so we don't have another one. Looks like we'll probably have to go out. Wish I could hit them, but I don't think I can. Trip Knight. Okay, you guys are really cute, though. You're, like, really, really cute. Just want you to know that. I think we use Phase Shiv here. Break this one's lock. Nice. Clone. Oh, whoa, okay. So they created... Well, that's just kind of neat. Let's go ahead and sunball here. I don't know if it's gonna do much damage because we are, you know, underwater. I don't think it cares. Oh, but we still need to actually defeat the clone, even though it's literally just a clone that was made from them. Again, another 1,100... 11... 1,020. We can use the coral hammer on that. We can grab another key there. I'm thinking, friends, that we go ahead and use this. All right, that started one 
rune lit up there. So I guess we need to progress this way, use the sapphire key, use this cool little thing, grab an item. It's a sapphire ore. And we can ring this bell too. There we go. Nice little solstice opening for us. They've done such a great job with the music, too. It feels so thematic to the world that we're in here. Oh, well, dang. I was kind of liking swimming and floating around. We get some seafood there. That's funny. We get another camp and a save point, but we actually just used it, so I think we're okay here. I This dungeon's going to be super cool, y'all. Oh, grapplu time. Okay, what are those? Those are new. We have goo goons. Goo goons that have 12 health. Uh, I'm guessing that they are not going to, uh, not going to take much damage. Grab that boost and then break those. Let's go ahead and hit these goo goons. I bet you they just don't take much damage. Let's go ahead and I'm going to boost here and I'm going to use Moonring and I mean, maybe it'll do a lot. Zero. They take no damage. Okay, so we actually just have to melee them. Take care of that Shrip Knight and then we can beat this guy too. All right, she does six damage. What if we do like a big boost? We still only do. Okay, so like... They do a double hit there. All right. Interesting enemies here, man. Nineteen hundred XP though from those. That is quite a bit. We could go back and rest at the camp there because we did take some damage. But I think instead we're just going to use Garl. We have two different ways we can go. Looks like we need to do something with these. Yeah, we need to go get... All right, so let's take this path first. Left is best. You know what I mean? Right, fellow left-handers? Oh, this is going to be really cool. This is going to be so fun. Viewers, what has been your favorite, like, thematic area so far? I, I really liked the whole vibe of, like, the... I guess we can go that way. Maybe grab this. Okay. I liked the thematic area of the flooded graveyard and that. But this is a... Uh, oh, can we... Really? Can we just jump down? Okay. Flip the switch. Oh, we can come out from here. Nice. And then we need to figure out a way of getting the water to come back up a little bit. This part might end up taking the cake for me, though. Put the pink pearl there. Nice. That'll put water out. Go this way. Now we can use this ladder. Yeah. All right. Go ahead and start hitting these guys. Get a double boost. 75, that's it. Even double boosted, though. Sarai feels really good. Like, her abilities feel really, really good. Break that lock and kill it. But she just doesn't seem like she does that much damage. You know what I'm saying? We can flip this switch, which will lower that. Oh, okay. So then we need to... Uh, I see, I see. So we get this pink orb. We need to bring that pink orb back out to the first area uh, that we were in, I believe. Yeah, out here. Put that in one of the pillars, maybe? 
I love I love the water and the ch oh man. Uh, maybe we hold on to it for a second. I think we head this way. Do this side first. Thank you. I'm not seeing any items here, though, and I wonder why. I wonder if this ends up being, like, another missable area. Or another area that we won't be able to get back to. I think we go this way first. Climb up here. Yeah, and then we drop down. Well, this one seems like a fairly straightforward spot. Grab that. We just need to get to... We need to be able to flip that switch, I think. should be able to do just jump jump back up drop down here flip it at really is that it wow i think that's it that's uh it's actually very straightforward we get two shrimp knights i love the shrimp knights i don't know why something about them i just think they're cool they're not weak to anything though let's see if we swap to garl we haven't seen, we haven't used his cooker surprise on these. Maybe it'll do a ton of damage. It does not, it, uh, it simply, it, it does not. Nice. And we level up. Here we go, baby. Zale, my guy, is of course, since there's no MP, and now we've changed the way we're going to level, and we're always going to focus on MP every single time, uh, we're going to do magic attack because that's what he needs. He needs more of it. And for our boy Garau, we're going to do, uh, I think just more health for him, man. Sarai, we're going to do MP. She now has 13. So she's close to being able to use Disorient twice. Uh, yeah. MP yet again for Valir. Bringing her total to 16 now. Still nowhere close to two Lunar Shields, but... So I think that's all... All right, that side was significantly easier than the other side. This makes me want to go, I don't know, to a water park or something. We'll do pink pearl, yellow pearl. Oh, that's how we scale the tower. <gasps> no way. That is really cool. Uh, I see. So then we can go out this way. Oh, that is wildly cool. What a, what a, and we can't go up yet. We need to grab, so I guess, I don't know. Let's do this side first then. We did left side before. Let me go, okay. I was like, hey, it looks like there might be a room there. A little secret area. item over there, which I'd like to see. We have those. Uh, looks like we need to at least do... So I think those are the... I think those are the enemies. The goo goons. We have a ladder there we can climb. Can't grab those yet. Alright, looks like that's the only way we can go then, is up this ladder. Let's do it. And... Flip this. Okay. And then this one as well, which will hopefully create... Extend all the way. Okay. Easy. So we got that. Which means we actually have to go back... This way. 
And then we can at least grab that chest, which is nice. Real cool. I was like, wait, can we not? Grab that. We get a thalassic. Oh, nice. Thalassic cloak for, uh, well, I don't know. She's usually the one that can wear those. Magic into an exist, magic into existence by a wizard of old, gives her de uh, six defense and ten magic defense. That is huge. She needs that. She really does. And she also has cornucopia. We gave her from the rainbow conches, so that's helpful. Can we climb up on these tubes? No, we cannot. Uh, maybe we can go this way now. Yep. Climb. Whoop. See if there's anything over there. Climb up here. Flip this switch. Get the water flowing. All right. Looks like um, we can interact with this. Okay. Oh, that was super easy. Just needed that, that red coral thing to match. And then we can grab this. That was really easy. Oh, wait. Maybe that did more than... Oh, whoa, oh, damn, Pokemon's coming out of nowhere. And, oh, Sarai, you go ahead, you finish it off. Feel free. Nice job. 21,000 experience, by the way, to get to the next level now. Feel like that jumped up out of nowhere. And I'm guessing we're going to have to deal with these guys, too. Whoop. Still got it. Uh, I think we just... Boosts don't matter. We just hit this guy. We should be able to kill that one. Oops. Uh, we should be able to kill that one before... Oh, come on. It has a turn. Drain Zale of his MP so that he can do that. Uh, I think we could probably just leave now. I think we got everything that I can tell anyways. That was a fairly easy puzzle. I, when I first walked in, I was like, uh-oh, this looks like it's going to be rough. This is a, Oh, it's a grapple point. Okay, never mind. I thought that was going to be something more complicated. Oh, we literally couldn't have gone left. That's funny. I'd even look. All right, we don't have... Oh. Get on this. We could climb up here. Don't see the point, though. Hit that. Another raft situation here. Oh, this is really cool. This one, this one's neat. I like this. And then there's, oh, I think we have to get to that side first. Hmm. Oh, okay. Maybe you have to raise the water? Oh, no, we can just... My bad. <laughs> Overthought that. Nice. We just need to keep the raft, and then... I don't think... I bet you that didn't do the... Where the chest is, though. It did not. Grab this. 
Oh, sweet. Uh, and then we can look for... Oh, beautiful! You love to see it. This room was a very easy puzzle, but hey. Phosphorite lid. We get a weapon upgrade for our boy Garl. It's been a while, actually. Carved out of hardened sediment. Plus six attack, plus two magic attack. He doesn't really use magic, so 61 attack now. Is that our highest? He's tied with Valir. Wow. Good for you, bud. Good for you. Grab some seafood. And we can use this. Um, oh, I didn't even see the... There's a grappler thing that opened up. I was like, wait, where do I go? I think that's probably... That was probably it go out here I think we can probably just drop put the purple pearl there green pearl let's go further up saw an item there it's just it's just seafood or whatever but I guess Is there anything else before we go through there? This is really cool. I love the idea of filling up the tower. Like that's how you scale this tower. You know, that's uh, I'm trying to think of like another game that does something like that. And I, I can't really think of any. Um, Spyro kind of has like a level where that happens. You like fill up the, you fill up the, the, the level, the entire level with water as you go, which then you get access to like more. Oh, what's that? Do I want to click on that? Or do I want to go in whatever that is first? No, <laughs> no is the answer. All right, I think we click on this. Nope, I don't have anything for that. This, like, can I go in here? Oh, I can. I thought that was a gate. Yeah. Oh, wait, we have to get... We have to lower the water in here. All right, we got some more enemies to deal with. I think we can do that. Damn. We got slurp kissed. I put Garl in and he got slurp kissed almost immediately. Not a fan of that. All right, let's go ahead and boost here. And I think another Venom Flurry will probably be enough to take out uh, everything except for... the Greninja. Oh, and the clone. Did it just run away? Nice! Hi, Garl! Welcome back! 1300 XP for that. We are getting more XP, so I understand why it now takes more levels, but there we go. And, oh, okay, so the valves are what we get for that little thing that we couldn't interact with. Can we go back in there, it looks like? We can go this way. Yeah. Grab some of that. Nice. We need to lower the water, though. Can't get up that way, and this looks like it's going to stop us from... Oh, no, okay, never mind. I lied. Don't know what this section's for, though. We just need to stop the water from flowing. So I think we go in here. Cool. Let's go ahead and put this in. Oh, neat. All right, so now we'll go to another area. This is so cool. Get 
back in where we were. We can open that. So now we can grab that er uh, that herb, that pearl. We do need to lower the water and be able to get on that side because there's another lever and a rainbow conch. So I think we're going to need to, we'll use this. That'll lower the water. And then we need to use the other, the original. We need to, okay, I need to get that open. We need to use the original valve that we used. I don't think I can get out. Okay, so we actually need to put this back then. Yeah, I guess so. The important thing though is we got the valve so we can just go back. Super cool area, man. Throw this in, get that valve going. That's what we gotta do is use that new tube. Wanna go to a water park or take a shower. Oh, nice. Put us on this side so we have a... Grab this first. Don't drop down. Don't drop. Don't do it. Nice. Flip this. Okay, great. Now we have to get the pearl. So we just come down here, jump in, get the pearl. Sweet. Uh, and then we're going to need to go this way. This is probably going to put us... Okay, cool. So we have another ladder here we can use. I don't think we want to do that just yet, though. I think we put this here. Oh, it was closed. We couldn't get in before. All right, but we do have that rainbow conch we need to get, so I think we go back this way. And it shouldn't matter because it's... We j I think we just use the valve to put the... And then we just use the original one again. And I believe this is our 35th rainbow conch, which means that we actually do get another one of the, another reward from that vendor there. There we go, 35. Look at that, nice and easy peasy lemon squeezy. We're done with this, so go back out here and now we can use that tube that opened for us, use this ladder. Feel like we're probably getting near the end of the tower here. I don't know, it just feels like it. Oh, for sure, they're giving us a save point right here, a way to jump down. All right, definitely safe, definitely safe. All right, we've saved. We're, we've got the best gear we can. We're looking a little low, but that's okay. Let's uh, hope for the best. The energy from this door feels odd. I bet the big mystery we're supposed to find is right behind it. No handles. Can't push it open either. And it's not resonating with our innate magic. Maybe we're just supposed to knock. The Great Archives. It's our friend the Archivist again. Their efforts in the tower proved valiant, but alas, as fate would have it when these events first occurred, the mysterious door remained firmly shut. Despite their best efforts in the face of this setback, our heroes were unable to reach Mesa Island in time, and the Dweller of Strife turned into a World Eater. They fought ever so bravely, but in the end their lives and their world were lost. Thus, we arrive at the crux of tonight's musings. A single question. How far might they go should fate be given a nudge? and the door that once sat closed were to be opened.
Let us find out. Come in. No way. What? What is this place? It smells musty. <gasps> no way. What? Good evening, and welcome to the Great Archives. Please, excuse the mess. I tend to get absorbed in my work. Uh... Wait, are you really? Titles are for stories and myths. Please, call me Rashan. Rashan! The Immortal... Rashan? That's even cooler than Extol! Uh, wait, so you're the Immortal Alchemist? I suppose so. Unreal! Alchemist, sir, we... Please, call me Rashan. Uh, <laughs> Rashan, this is really unexpected. Yeah, no... Yeah! Yeah, we... Can't you just fix all of this then? Unfortunately, no. I'm bound by a very strict code. Huh. There are no words to express the suffering that would ensue were I to take matters into my own hands. Worse than a dweller turning into a world eater. Mm, not to minimize, but you must understand that in the grand scheme of things, your reality is simply one of many. By fixing your realm, I would unleash Aphorul's wrath on countless others. Aphorul being the Fleshmancer. That is unacceptable. Who's Aphorul? My former associate. Where your people call me the Immortal Alchemist, they refer to Aphorul as the Fleshmancer. Is he hiding somewhere here too? <laughs> your world is safe, at least in this regard. Aphorul left a long time ago. Should he learn of my presence here, however? We'd take him on. He's nothing but a loser. <laughs> now it appears time is of the essence. We need to get on to Mesa Island. Can you help? I might. But first, we must determine whether or not you can help yourselves. We know how to fight. Of course you do. This matter is about whether you truly are who I am hoping you are. For now, I would send you to a remote location where... Encased in the ice lies a long-lost artifact. What kind of artifact? Mm, I'll say no more at this time. If letting you in here was the proper course of action, its power will call to you. This portal leads to where it went forgotten. Recover the artifact, then I shall entertain this plan of yours. I am y'all confused. Huh. I am... Glacial Peak. Dear viewers, I have no idea now. I thought that he was just like telling us the story and that maybe... Oh, this music's cool. We were just underwater and now we're on a glacial peak. And, and, and fully restored, by the way, I want to point out. I... Where? What? Where are... Sorry, had to let the music play for a second. Well, let's do it then. I wonder, is this Torment Peak? I wonder if that's where we are. We have another save point. We just saved those, so we don't need to worry about that. We'll grab some berries. Y'all... So, okay, so Rashan is the immortal alchemist, and him and uh, Aphorul, they, they're the ones that found all this, and then Aphorul went bad, and... Oh, that's cool. The, it's so heroic. The music is so heroic. <laughs> nice. Rush, Rush, Crossaderes. Snowball monster? 
Snowball, Snowball guy. They look like a, they also kind of look like a Pokemon. Uh, they don't have much health. So let's go ahead and just break this one's lock. Or not, because I suck. Snowball crash. Actually, it looks like they don't really do anything special. Easy. All right, these are pretty easy to deal with. I'm gonna get a big boost here. Nice, deleted in one hit. Still getting 12, over 1200 experience that from that though. Considering how easy those were, I was kind of expect, oh, there's a rainbow conch up there though. Ah. Well, guess we'll just keep going this way. Look at that. Hello, son. This is dope. Looks like we got some hand farting to do here. Huh. Oh my god, I love the music. It's so good. All right, so we can get up here, use that, grab an item. We get music sheet number five. And that allows us now to move this this way. Yeah, melt that ice, baby. And look at... App stunningly beautiful, this game. I tell you what. I just... I'm, like, trying to formulate my thoughts on the story here. So, so Rashawn said that... So, okay, so there's timey-wimey stuff happening here then, right? Where he said that we were unable to open the door and the Dweller of Strife became a world eater. We weren't able to stop it. We died. We lost, right? But, but in this reality or something, Rashan opened the door because he was there. He's not in every reality, but he's in some... I think what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go deal with this fight first that I saw, and then we'll use that camp. I, oh, whoa, uh, okay, I didn't see you. I'm sorry, are you? That is the funniest thing in the whole world. Boulder douche, he's a DJ. He's a disc jockey. That is hilarious, are you kidding me? That is absolute. That is amazing. Uh, week to uh, week to moon. Week to lunar, actually. So let's go ahead and do that and pop a moon ring. All right. Looks like we're gonna have to maybe use disorient on. Actually, let's do. I have a better idea. We're gonna swap you. We're gonna use a disorient. I'm a, I just realized that that lock is on him. We'll use Sarai to disorient. Perfect. Well, all right, just finish this off then. Boulder douche. Like I kind of wanted to see what his lock ability was, but that's okay. 1980. That's how much XP we just got. That's crazy. All right, now we can go use, uh, can we get over there yet? No. Let's go ahead and rest now at this camp real quick. We're actually going to set up a camp because I want to see if any of our characters have anything to say about the fact that they just met Rashan, the immortal arch alchemist. The magic pull is strong. What do you think we'll find? Okay. I like the cold. Makes the campfire feel even cozier. Okay. No one's going to say anything about... The acolytes are probably watching. Don't let your guard down. Probably watching. And now we can go this way. Just wanted to heal first, make sure we're good to go. Guess we just have to go this way. Looks like we have another puzzle here. Just gotta move. Oh, I can't. Okay, so we're gonna get the ability then. We must. To be able, yeah, we can't do anything with this yet. To be able to change the time without needing a sigil. That feels like it's probably going to be a pretty big deal. I'm 
push that that way. Sweet. Right? Oh, there's two of them. Okay. I don't know why I'm scared of these guys. All right, let's see what it does. Icicle. Okay, holy smokes. That was with only one left, too. Yikes. All right, let's healing light on Sarai. Got the timing. Double boost on her. Only 63 damage. Sweet. Uh, 1,400. Those guys are can be fairly brutal, it looks like. It looks like there's uh, something there. We can't... I was hoping we could break that, but nope. It looks like we're going up here then. Oh my god. That is... I guess I should just stop their fun and kill them, huh? Oh, they got mad about it. Oh, in the fight. Oh, that's cool. Uh, it doesn't look like I'm actually able to hit. Oh, I can. I can hit both of them here. Oh, I like how the rift changes based on... That's cool. All right, I think we're actually gonna need to use a mushroom soup here just for a little bit of health. I think we just need, I think we need to. And, oh, he's attacking already? Not anymore, he's not. Triple boost, Valir, and goodbye. 25, almost, wow, almost 2,600 XP for that. All right, but we can't get over there yet. And we can't break this as far as I can tell. So we gotta go this way. Whoa! Oh, those, oh, the, oh, Sarai, no! Oh, she made it. <laughs> don't worry. I don't, cool, good for her. Oh, this is so cool. Looks like we have more enemies to fight. We'll grab these berries first. And we'll beat them up. Oh, that was a... <laughs> I didn't realize there was a third guy in there. That's cute. Get a boost here, and then we'll just sunball the one in the middle. Can we talk about how uh, Zale feels like... Maybe I'm wrong, but... Zale feels uh, like the strongest right now. Like maybe it's just because Sunball's so easy to time and so good, but it just feels like he does a, a ton of damage with it. Like you can use Moonerang and Moonerang is obviously amazing too, but like Valir and, and Zale right now feel like they're mandatory to have on your team, which makes sense. I mean, they should be. They're the Solstice Warriors, right? Alright, so it looks like we're at they're actually introducing something that we haven't seen in a while, which is that. Oh no, that's not it. Never mind. I was expecting okay. I I thought that. Oh. Oh, there were where did I even see them? Nice. Alright, took those out. We do have... Okay, so there's a boss fight or something coming up. Oh, wait, we can go... Oh, never mind. All right. Well, let's definitely go ahead and rest real quick. Those are the new recipe that we got in the Dakari Lake last episode. 110 HP and 6 MP. It's single target, but that's okay. And obviously, we're going to save real quick. And let's continue... There's got to be something right over here, man. Here we go. No way again. However you did it, you are foolish for showing up here. 
foolish and corner too. Your friends already tried acting tough. Didn't you get their report? My, they truly are feisty. Feisty and arrogant too. Come then. Ah, so we fought one and three before, and now we're fighting two and four. Uh, definitely. Okay, so two is the caster of the group. And I, you know, I, I kind of think that means that's who we focus on. Yeah? I've played an RPG before. Got it. Got the timing. Okay, I guess we're going to need to Moonering or do we Lunar Shields? I think we just, I don't know, man. You know what? I think it's worth Lunar Shielding here instead. I don't know what this lock is going to do, and I'd rather see it find out. Okay, uh, to do me. Sure. Oh. Holy smokes. Okay. Huh. I still think it's worth... I think we focus on the caster, though, for sure. Nice. Yeah, we can block. We can. That's fairly easy to time. We have two boosts that we can use. We're going to save the boost in case we need to break any locks here. Nice. 42 damage to uh, two. All right. That's a small lock. Uh, but unfortunately, not one I can actually break. Like, literally cannot break that. I can switch to Sarai to delay it. Dash Strike will do that, or I can just boost. Do three boost. Nice! Right. 93 damage. Ugh. I'm sorry, Zale. We haven't used one of these in a while. We'll go ahead and use it here just so that we have them back up right away. All right. And then this is where it's really going to hurt. Uh, we can use another just so if mm, I think no matter what I do here, we can do dash strike. Got it. And then I have a choice yet again. I can either use... I can't, actually. She doesn't have enough MP. Oh, I can disorient. Oh, goodbye. Goodbye, too. We just have three to use here, and we also have... I can use my combo for... For Mending Light, but there's only one left. I don't think it's worth. I think we soon rain here. Three damage 4400 XP still not able to use Sarai's ultimate uh, you got lucky next time we will win <sighs> win and celebrate too huh. see you next time and don't come back we're close. I can feel it. Let's do this. That was dope. That actually wasn't too bad of a fight, though. I kind of liked that. Can't climb that yet. We'll just continue on. I uh, don't think we should go back and use... I mean, we could. 
but we're close. I can feel it. That was a really cool fight, though. I really like, uh, I really like fighting those guys. There's something, something, they feel very, uh, not simplistic. Uh, archetype, arch archetypal, archetypical. There we go. There's something, this music, it feels so heroic. It feels like we're, we're like about to save the day. We can't use this. The Solstice Amulet. So much energy. It's the same kind of power as... How do we get out of here? This block could be melted, but the Celestial Runes busted. Solstice power. You can now control the time of day with R2 and L2 without needing to stand on a celestial ruin. I knew it. I knew it was coming, friends. Whoa. So you can just do this at will now? The amulet's resonance with our magic is really strong. We got what we needed. Let's go back to Rashan. Rashan, baby. Guess what? We got stuff. We're heroes! Oh, I feel it. Feel the power. Oh yeah, so dope. Okay, but what about what about this rock thing? Ah Lunar magic to destroy that. Yeah, baby! Nice. I like how they're teaching you to use it too. They're like, come on, you got this. This is just so dope. Gosh, I love this game. It's so good. Uh, I don't think there was anything that way. That was where, this is where we just fought them, right? Yeah. Yep. this yeah baby and then all right so now that we're over here we want to get this as well uh maybe down okay wait we need to use Oh, we can push this, of course. I didn't even realize that that was a block. Like it was on a, you know what I mean? Didn't even realize it was on a block. And we can get a signet of clarity. Let's see what that is. We haven't gotten a Skills cost minus one MP. Huh. I kind of want to give it, so I kind of want to give it to Valir for the use of Lunar Shields, but if we give it to Zale, that means he has a three MP heal. I think we give it to Zale. And then he'll have a three MP heal, and on top of that, I, th I think he'll be pretty dope actually I think I think that's I think that's the way to go let's use the camp real quick it's just to rest all right so the other traversal or puzzle solving is whatever those that blue crystal was that we saw there's like a blue crystal that we need stuff as well 
All right, so if we do... Okay, and then we can do this real quick. Ah-ha-ha-ha-ha! -ha -ha -ha. Such a cool puzzle, like, such a cool thing that we get to do. I don't think we can break that. I think we got to go the other way. Oh, no, I can move this. I was like, wait. Nice! Another move! Garl and Sarai learned combo skill item roulette. Huh. Item roulette. Garl picks a random item for a special effect. Hmm. Like a random item meaning like one that we... One that we can use, like... I don't like the idea of something being random, but. All right, then we can melt this. For one sapphire ore. Yo, the this is awesome. And then we can melt this block and get on our way back to Rashawn, baby. See what he's got going on. Guess we just go down here now. Woo. Go ahead and grab this ladder. Grab Lou. Oh, yeah, there's the rainbow conch. So now we have, so I think that's 36. Yep. Oh, it's, oh, that's cool. It keeps track of the total amount that you've received in your inventory still. I hadn't actually checked that since turning them in into Kari Village. My other question is, I'm kind of curious, and we'll, I will find out soon, I'm sure, but I'm curious how long uh, it takes, or, or I'm curious where the NPC, like if the NPC will go to Mirth for us and we could just do stuff there, or if we have to go to Dakari Village every time. All right, I think this is where we gotta go, is down here. Use the portal once again. There was nothing over here we could get, right? That was just what brought us over here. All right, back through the portal. Let's go. Teleport to the archives. Yup. You have returned. Congratulations. Will you help us get to Mesa Island now? You were just there a few moments ago. What? Is this the way then? We just go back and hike down the mountain? Hiking Glacial Peak on foot? Ah, only an animal would do that. Uh. Will you accept one final challenge? If you succeed... I promise I will help. We're in a hurry, you said. I know, I know, hear me out. The only way to remove the barrier is to wake the giant stone head. I can make the potion for you, but brewing it requires centuries of maceration. Centuries? That's useless. That's why I need you to recover my personal alchemy bottle, the vial of time. Within it, I can control time itself. Bring it back to me and I will prepare what you need in mere seconds. No way. All right, uh, where can we find your vial of time? A foral hid it somewhere on Watcher Island a long time ago. All I know for certain is that the giant statue from which the island got its name is the key. How can you be sure? 
Afril's tricks always involve big statues. Huh? Eventually, I figured he would have to stop if I never recovered my vial, but here we are in need of it. This is ridiculous. Call it what you will, but I recommend you take this task seriously, for it will be very trying. Sure, whatever. We're ready. Then go to the northern part of Watcher Island and perform the cleansing of Torment Peak. Uh, we were told not to go there. Cleansing? There's a dweller here? Of course. Maybe just a prank, but Afro played it himself. But without their powers augmented by... Yes? That's what the Solstice Amulet is really for, isn't it? Precisely. It may be old, but its magic has yet to fade. Face the Dweller of Torment with, a, with conviction, and the amulet will resonate. The power to conjure an eclipse. All right, we can do this. Torment Peak afflicts the mind in devilish ways, but you deserve a fighting chance. Here. Go on, drink. What is it? One dose of tethered mind potion for each of you. Come on now, bottoms up. I don't feel any different. And thanks to this potion, you'll be able to say the same after spending time in that wicked place. Um, I thought you couldn't help directly. It is but a little nudge. Surely this can stay between us. Thanks, Rashawn. We'll be back with a vial of time. Feel free to use this portal for quick travel between here and Lake Dakaria. I will be watching. Good luck. So we don't have to go through the... So which one? That goes to... Oh, so we can get back there. Yo, this is so dope. Rashawn, you're so cool. I'm just... I'm confused. Like, I thought the story was kind of... I feel like the story is a little bit bigger than what I was anticipating, I guess? Alright, we're back in Lake Takaria. Oh, this is why that's here. This is that little island that I was like, why is there an island here? Okay, cool, there's an island, whatever. But, you know... Before we go back, I think there's stuff we can do real quick. First of all, let's go back to Jakari Village. Let's go ahead and uh, turn in the conches that we got. Yeah. 36, and they will give us a recipe for poutine. Ah, oh, heck yeah. So what is the next one? Uh, something relaxing. Something relaxing, something potent, and then something meta. Interesting. Well, we can use this. While we need to go north to get back to the world map, there's stuff on the jungle path that we can do now that we have the ability to control time at any point, which is so cool, by the way. We'll do a little bit of backtracking and see what we can find. So we fought... One and three here. I don't think there was anything directly on in this area. I think it was earlier on. All right, so after that big, uh, there were, yeah, there was this thing that we could do. And then I think if we go, huh. Might be able to actually just control it from here. That creates whatever that is. Oh, does it only last for a certain amount of time, though? Okay. 
which means we need to get over there. Totally unsure then. We gotta flip the bridge. And then we can potentially. Ah, the mirror. I think we need to raise that higher, is what it looks like to me. So we need to somehow, we need to get the, we need to get it over there so that it's going, beaming towards, and then the light, okay. There we go. So we were able to pre-position it. Oh, heck yeah. And then we got some scorpions to beat. We could do that. Boost, get a big sunball here right in the middle. Oh yeah, deleted. See ya. All right. That's dope. Okay, so we were able to do that. We had the mirrors. You had to get them like pre-positioned. And then when you use the, the the light puzzle, it would, oh, there, there's a chest. A lucent crystal. Like, like lucent? Generates one more boost charge when initiating combat. Whoa, dude. That's really good. Uh, We're gonna keep the Eye of Yamora, I think. Well, we'll get rid of Abacus. We don't need that because we have the Eye of Yamora. So we'll do, uh, yeah, Lucent Crystal. Generate, so we now go into a battle as long as we get the edge with two boosts. So that is totally worth get grabbing. That is so cool. All right. And another Rainbow Conch, which is 37. So that's worth. I wonder, I think that's probably all we can actually get here though. I think we probably have what we can grab. There might be something earlier on in the jungle path that we can go use, but uh, we're not gonna worry about that because we're gonna be able to get back there a different way later. So we just don't, we just don't have to worry about that. So we need to go back. Whoa, geez, I was not expecting it to do that much, okay. Just need to run all the way back north here. I don't think there was any extra items at the Sacred Grove. So, my friends, we're going to make camp real quick. Wait, what is this? What is that? No idea. It looks like a giant prism. Can I... Huh. I wasn't sure if maybe I could change. Interesting. All right. Let's see what everyone has to say. Torment Peak is north of Lake Dakaria on Watcher Island. Yeah, no, we're here. I don't know why you're telling me that. We're here. Just think there was an unknown dweller. That was apparently a prank? I just know you can take that dweller on your own without Moraine. I'll help however I can. Thanks, Carl. In the next episode of Sea of Stars, we'll be tackling the Dweller of Torment at Torment Peak and apparently helping the immortal alchemist grab the vial of time. But then don't forget that Garl also needs to use the flask of borrowed time. And things are just, I am, I don't know. I thought this story was going to be a lot more uh, uh, straightforward. And now I feel like it's starting to throw out, like I'm, I'm starting to not really know what's happening. You know what I mean? And that's a good thing. That's dope. I'll see you all in the next episode. Don't forget to like, comment, all that stuff. It really does help. Thanks for watching. Never give up, never surrender to one, two, three, or four. 
Not the disciples, just numbers. I can't count that high.